Jury deliberations are back on this morning in the Delphi murder trial. Jurors will need to decide whether the Delphi man Richard Allen is guilty on kill about of killing two teenage girls on a bridge nearly eight years ago. Our Marissa Perlman has been following this case closely and she joins us live in the newsroom with more. Good morning, Marissa. Good morning to both of you. Yet yeah, today marked day four of deliberations for this 12 member jury. Since Thursday, they've debated for more than 14 and a half half hours over a three day period, sequestered, unable to access their phones, computers or families until a decision is made. Saturday session alone lasted four and a half hours and the jury took another look at videos that have previously been entered into evidence, including police interviews of Richard Allen from 2022. Now, Allen has pleaded not guilty to two murder and two felony murder charges connected to the 2017 killings of Liberty German and Abigail Williams, 14 and 13 years old. The tragic details of this case now all too familiar to us. The teens went for a hike during a day off from school on February 13th. When they didn't show up at their meeting spot that day, volunteers from the community signed up to help search for them. Sadly, their bodies were found the very next day. Carroll County prosecutors have painted the picture. Allen is the man seen in this grainy cell phone video found on one of the girls cell phones just before they vanished that day. They've also pointed to Allen's repeated confession of the killings in person, on the phone and in writing. But the defense points to holes in the prosecution's case, saying Allen was having a psychotic break when he admitted to the killings after spending months in solitary confinement. They also argue there's no physical evidence tying Allen to the murder scene. No fingerprints, no DNA. Now, for nearly eight years, as you mentioned, Libby and Abby's families and the small town of Delphi have waited for answers on what happened and who could be responsible. That answer could come as early as today. Allen could face up to 130 years in prison if convicted. We'll keep you posted throughout the morning. For now, we're live in the newsroom. Marissa Perlman, CBS News, Chicago.